G'day, welcome back to Fix It In Post. My name is Nick, and today we're gonna to look at putting lower thirds into Premiere using After Effects. Um, After Effects is a really powerful motion graphics engine uh, that we can usually, we can actually harness to use uh, in Premiere. Now this is only, is something that's come in recently through After Effects um, CC and um, Premiere CC, uh, what is it, 2014, I think so. And they've refined it actually in the latest version as well. So it makes it even easier to do so. So let's just dive right in, shall we? So um, it's it's all cool for us to kind of do it the regular way, which is just to put, you know, you just have your regular lower thirds, which is just making a title. And then, um, you know, you would just go, all right, let's make a title, Nick, and then coo, and then my title, which is super duper, producer, director, etc., etc. Let me change that font to something cool. Um, Helvetica, is a, if anybody's in doubt, always use Helvetica if you don't know what font to use, because uh, that usually gets you over the line. It's just a nice font, let's just face it. You know, it'll just, don't use Arial, never use Arial, but use Helvetica, because uh, it'll always work. Anyway, so it's just a nice, elegant kind of thing, and you would make that title, you put it on, you know, and... But, you know, that's that's kind of basic. Now, if just say you're, you're, basically, your client comes to you and says, hey, I want something a little bit fancier, like what they do on, you know, those expensive TV shows like Sunrise or NFL or, I don't know, something that looks like it has a bit more production value, which... If you're doing a documentary, this is probably fine, but some people want something a bit better. So let's dive in. So say, let's say we'll make this, we'll make this a 10 second, take your current title. Um, I would just duplicate it just so you've got reference for it, but, and we'll just turn it off. So right click on this and go enable and turn it off. All right, so let's just say that's the duration of your lower thirds. So you know where the placement will be. So now what you're gonna have to do is before we dive into Art Effects, go and turn on After Effects. I've already got turned on here. And create a new project. As you go to new and then new project. And once you've done that, go straight away, go save as, and rename it the same name as you did for the Premiere project. So in this case, I've just called it Lower Thirds. Um, call it Lower Thirds and we just save it. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but it usually helps. That's just the way I organize stuff anyway. Let's go in here. Um, what's cool is we've got the title set up. We've kind of got the duration of how long it needs. It doesn't really matter the, about the placement at the moment. It's just something that we can just see visually in the timeline so we know how long it's going to be. So it's about just over 10 seconds. Now we want to make it into a lower thirds. So let's take it into After Effects. So once you've already created your project, let's do this. So right click, replace of After Effects composition, and it'll just bring this black. It'll come in here and it'll just give you this black solid, which is essentially the same size as the, uh, the title clip here. But as you can see, it just gives you a black solid and then jumps back to regular footage. Now we want to sort of turn off this black footage. You don't need it, but you can delete it if you want actually, just, just delete it. And we'll rename the comp we just made to lower third. Don't worry, this doesn't change anything. It's just, it's just something for you to remember. Okay, cool. Now, if you come back here, you can see nothing is there because nothing is here. So, but if we pull in a solid, for example, this color, I don't like this color. Let's make it a bit more tealy whatever you want to call it teal yeah maybe that'd be something like that uh let's bring it down here okay now if we go back into premiere you'll see that there's now a blue bar there um and if we want to put a little bit of animation on it let's uh let's do this so that was p to bring up the position and then I click the stopwatch thing here and put a keyframe there. And then I went back here and I moved it back and it created another keyframe. Um, and we'll just put a bit of an ease on it. So for those who didn't see, keyframe assistant, ease, ease in. All right, so if we go back into Premiere, we can see this is what's occurring. All right, now here's the other fun part. Let's put in some text. So let's call this um, we'll just say this is my name, Nick Koo. Um, we'll make it bold because I'm important. And we'll make another one. Um, we'll call it Fix It in Post Guy Who Thinks 
he knows everything as my title because that's basically what I think about myself. Um, actually, let's make this, we'll make this all caps and we'll make it a bit lighter. That's just the way I like doing things. Um, all right, now let's put a little bit of animation on this. I'm going to just put a, make a new solid here. I'll make it red so it's real obvious that if it shows up, it shouldn't be there. This is what I like to call uh, alpha matting. So let's do this. We're just going to make this a big solid that just goes right up to the edge here. And we'll put it just right above my name. And then we'll turn on the alpha layer on this layer. We'll switch toggle switch until you get this where it says none and go alpha mat. And then we'll just find a position here. Press P for position. And then I set a keyframe there and then we'll set another keyframe where it disappears to the back here. And we might make it go back a bit further. So we've got a bit of leeway and I'll show you why in a second. Let's make it go all the way back here. Cool. And we'll put an ease on this. Easy ease, ease in. Okay. So there we go. We got that one. Now we're going to do the same with, we're going to duplicate this level, uh, this layer. So we'll go duplicate. Um, so we have to do it up here, don't we? Edit, edit, edit. I said edit, and I said I went to layer duplicate. <laughs> um, getting, old. I'm getting seen now. My old age. I'm only 37. Ah. Uh, we'll do the same with this one. Uh, we'll make it the solids there, but it's just turned off from the previous layer. So we just go to alpha mat, and again, press P, and we'll set a keyframe there, and then we'll go back. So what's actually happening here, just so you understand what's happening, is that I have essentially set a, a bounding box for where the text can appear. So if you turn this on, the text, I'll just make it a bit more opaque. The text can only, will only appear in this region here, this red region that I've created. So that's what the alpha mat is. So it's essentially like a mask. Um, but you can define it in a shape and you can make the shape whatever you like. So in this case, I've just made it a rectangle, but you can make it a square or a star or whatever you like. Um, as long as you define the layer above, if you press the, if you turn the alpha mat on, the layer above it determines where the bounding box is, if that makes sense. So like a fence. So anywhere within, anywhere within the red perimeter is where the, text or whatever you decide will show up. So you can do this with any layer. It doesn't have to be just text. It can be any layer. It can be any kind of, um, anything can be alpha matted. Um, I'm just going to offset it a bit so it just looks a bit sexier. So it looks like it comes in. Zoop, zoop. Okay. So if we go back to Premiere, well, that's, that looks a bit nicer, right? Um, we can even play around with this shape a little bit too. So it looks a bit more futuristic. Um, Let's go to the transform properties of the rectangle and let's skew it a bit, make it look a bit more fancy, fancy feast. Such an American thing. I'm such, I'm so horribly influenced by America. Fancy. Okay. All right. So that's, that's uh, that's kind of a much nicer lower thirds than you can create in Premiere. So now let's go have a situation where you've misspelled the client's name. So let's go and misspell my name, um, Nick Cool, because I know people get that wrong all the time. So Nick Cool, um, you send it to the you send it to your client. The client says, "Well, I appreciate that you think that I'm cool." but that's not how you spell my name. I don't have an L at the end of my name. So you could go into After Effects and say you've got like 20 of them or you've got 20 of these titles. Um, you need to fix them all. Well, what do you do? Um, you could go into After Effects like a chump and go through and fix every single title that you made. Or this is a cool little trick. In Premiere, you can do this. So highlight the After Effects comp, press F, and then go to 
effects control and you've got these little fields there that are already propagated because you've created text fields in the link comp in After Effects. So the fact that there are two text fields, see these little T's, these automatically become editable editable fields. These automatically become editable fields. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, that will basically allow you to change it in uh, in Premiere. So, sorry, you have to press F to get there again and press effects control and then just take off the L. And um, there you go. You fixed the typo and that's it. Now, what's even better than this is that if I had another guest, say, you know, another charming guest, we, you don't have to recreate these titles in After Effects every time. Like you don't have to go through the whole process. You can just use this lower thirds as a spawn and uh, just duplicate it. So what I would do is just edit and um, uh, um, 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 um. so I would just go here and duplicate. You've got another one and bring it on here. And you can just change this one and it won't affect the other one. So let's go and press F. Um, Gareth Edwards. The most awesome director ever. So there you go. It wasn't changing. Well, there's a few glitchy things there, but you get the idea. So there you go. You can essentially create another lower thirds from the same lower thirds that you just created. How good is that? And you can do that as many times as you like, as long as you duplicate it uh, in, in here first. Like don't keep using this one. Keep duplicating until you get new ones. You can rename these if you like. So Gareth Edwards, lower thirds. Um, Nick Koo, lower thirds. And you can just keep renaming and renaming until, you know, you find the one that you like. So that's pretty much it. It's a quick one today. I, I didn't get to do much in the animation one today. I was preparing for it. And I just kind of ran out of time because um, I really wanted to delve a bit deeper into this one. But um, the animation stuff was just a bit held up this week, but I'll get back to it next week. But I thought I might give you guys something. And this is kind of really cool. Look, you guys can customize this stuff as much as you like. And what's even better is that you can customize any of them and it'll update all of them, which is really great. So you can change one. You only have to change one comp and it'll update all of them. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, here we go. So just say we want to put a uh, a ramp on this. Oh, actually, we don't even need to do that. We can do that in here. Let's put a... Um, just to go to the fill, let's do a ramp. And let's change that ramp because that ramp's a bit ugly. Um, let me change this one to, oops, ah, oh, it's not doing it because it's been a chump. All right. Let's just say we do that. Now that color's not very good. So we'll change that too. Um, unfortunately I have to go here or oh, actually I'm just going to type gradient and there we go. Start point. Um, if I can see the start point, where is it? There we go. Sorry. I was like, where is it gone? But it's right there. Anyone seen trolls yet? It's pretty good. You should go see trolls. I enjoyed it quite a lot. Okay. Anyway, it's kind of doing what I'm doing, but anyway. You get the idea. So you can kind of do that, or we can add a bit more. Uh, let's add a stroke to it. And if you go back, you'll see that everything changes. Both titles will change, which is kind of cool. So um, that's it guys. I mean, it's a pretty new feature. It's really good. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. I haven't exactly done the best version of these lower thirds, but you get the idea. The potential to put anything in there. I'm literally talking anything. You can put anything in these um, lower thirds. Okay, look, I'm gonna drop this explosion in there and watch this. I mean, that's the title. 
but you could make every title like that. So watch this. Great, right? Watch this one. <laughs> How good are these titles? Anyway, all I'm saying is the potential is endless, so you can do whatever you like. Um, so I hope this has helped. Um, my name is Nick, and thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to get, I'm going to try and release a tutorial every week, um, regardless of what it might be. It might be just me just talking about video stuff, but if it's not always a tutorial, it'll be something. So, and I, I promise you, I'll try and make it as useful as I possibly can. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.